Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of one pan pasta with Harissa Bolognese by Yodam Adelangi from the New York Times cooking section. You only need a roasting pan or casserole dish and a food processor. We start by breaking up and mixing together ground meat, one and a half pounds of ground beef and one pound of ground pork. Now we add in a third of a cup of tomato paste and a quarter cup of harissa, which is a North African pepper paste. Now two tablespoons of Worcestershire and a mix of cumin and coriander, one tablespoon each. Drizzle in three tablespoons of olive oil and two thirds of a cup each of Parmesan and Pecorino cheese. I'm using shredded cheese, but the recipe actually calls for grated cheese, which is the type that looks like powder. This is a typical mistake for me, no matter how many times I remind myself. Now we need to roughly chop one small onion and add it to the food processor. Then one carrot. I'm doing large chunks, but you can also have it long ways and slice it, it also gets added to the food processor. Now roughly chop four cloves of garlic, add it to the food processor, as well as two large plum tomatoes, again roughly chopped. Pulse the food processor until everything is finely chopped. You may need to scrape down the sides and stir it to get all the pieces properly blitzed. And here's where I messed up and got ahead of myself. I put the meat mixture into the oven too early, so I took it out as soon as I realized and I stirred up the meat so I can add the vegetable mixture. You will add the vegetable mixture and then put everything in the oven. So stir it all to combine and now it should bake at 475 degrees Fahrenheit or 245 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes until it's browned on top and sizzling. And here we are. Reduce the heat in the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius and use a fork to stir it up and break up any chunks of meat, stirring it into the liquid that's been produced. Now add three cups of chicken stock and half a cup of heavy cream. I'm using yogurt instead because my body responds better to yogurt than straight cream. Now we add in the pasta. We're using eight ounces of manicotti or cannelloni and gently work in the pasta. We're gonna break it up into rough pieces, which I'm doing with a fork and trying not to splatter hot liquid all over the place. Again, this is where I got ahead of myself. You should chop the dry pasta before you put it in the casserole. Essentially, we wanna get all the pasta coated with the liquid, so try to submerge as much as you can it may not be possible to submerge it all, but getting it wet or coated in the liquid keeps it from burning. Now bake again for 25 minutes and stirring it halfway. Remove it from the oven and stir in a quarter cup of chopped parsley and sprinkle in the remaining cheese, which is about one third of a cup each of grated Parmesan and Pecorino and back into the oven one more time for eight-ish more minutes until the top crisps in some parts and begins to brown. After that final bake, we need to let it rest for 10 minutes so all this liquid can soak up. The pools of liquid are very obvious when it's straight out of the oven, possibly even a little alarming. If you have more chopped parsley, you can sprinkle that on now too. And after 10 minutes, the liquid is significantly soaked up. So serve and enjoy. I'm already thinking of substitute ingredients like gochujang paste and soy sauce and sesame oil, or a more Italian version with roasted red peppers and maybe even some spinach. So the good news is it makes a lot. So you have plenty of servings and the cleanup is relatively easy. But I really like this technique as an idea and something to build on. So that's it for this recipe demo of one pan pasta with Harissa Bolognese. Get the recipe at cookingcompaniontv.com slash one pan pasta. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.